What is going on everybody on YouTube? Max the Rock here with a brand new video. And this is gonna be the first impressions or I should say the 72 hours impressions of the Huawei Mate SE. We have a, what is the screen size? 5.93 inch screen, I believe. And it's resolution is 1080 by 2160. So it is the 18 by nine aspect ratio display. And it looks really, really, really good. This thing is super crisp, y'all. You have eight megapixel camera in the front and a 16 megapixel camera in the back along with a two megapixel camera. And it's a depth sensor, so you get the bokeh effect with this device. LED flash, fingerprint scanner. The body itself is made of uh, aluminum, and it feels really good in the hand. Got a power button on the right side. It's not rigid, but whatever. You should probably put down buttons. And on the left side of the device, you get your SIM tray slot. Now on the top of the phone, you got your noise canceling mic. You got micro USB for the charging, which I didn't like, but whatever. Headphone jack, and your speaker and microphone for talking there. As far as internal specifications go, we can go ahead and pull it up right now. It says here that we're running the uh, high silicon Kirin 650, which is clocked at 2.36 gigahertz, and it's an octa-core processor. Now, I thought this was the Kirin 659, but you know, CPU Z is telling me it's the 650. Four gigs of RAM, 64 gigs of internal storage. It's currently running Android 8.0 with security patch of July 1st, 2018. So, will this phone get Android Pie? Who knows? Probably not. The battery is uh, 3,300 milliamps, if I'm not mistaken. It might be a little bit bigger than that, but it's a pretty decent sized battery. The phone does have some type of quick charge here. It's not faster than my G6, but it does charge the device fairly quickly. And battery life in this phone is amazing. But I have instances where uh, I'm not even trying to save battery with this phone here or do anything of that nature. I'm just using it as I would regularly use. And I get home from an all day event, let's say I leave the house around eight o'clock, 8.30 in the morning, 9 o'clock, and get home around about 10, you know, maybe 9.30, 10 o'clock, and still have about 31% battery life. So when it comes to battery life in this device here, and with my usage, I'm really, really impressed. Um, actually, I'm kind of shocked. Um, cool thing with the update with the Huawei Mate SE here that it has now is that you can actually change the resolution to 720p. Let's talk about the Geekman score here because it is running the Kai Silicon 650, they say. So with the single core performance, I got a 942 and the multi-core score 3,702. So that's on par with what my Snapdragon 450 is doing in the Moto G6 as far as multi-core performance. But with single core, the device is actually a little bit faster and I notice it in everyday usage here. If I go over to a 2.2 benchmark, you can see I got an 89,336. The phone is pretty powerful. It's powerful than my G5 Plus that I had that I recently sold and uh, ended up getting this phone here. So with overall performance here, I will say running Android 8.0, having the high silicon Kirin 650 in it, it's a pretty good phone, it's great for the money. And being that it has four gigs of RAM as well, it really does help the phone in this performance. Now with the camera here, you do have the uh, eight megapixel camera in the front and I do have a camera review coming on the channel within the next coming days and you would actually see what the camera quality looks like. Um, it does have the portrait mode for the front and it does have portrait mode in the back. And uh, it, has a, it has a ton of options when it comes to uh, uh, using a camera here. So you can see we got promo, video, pro video, AR lens, HDR, panorama, uh, night painting, time lapse, slow mo, filter, audio note. Um, we got even more here at the bottom. It says we got watermark, document scan, and good food. And you can download even more in the, uh, the store here. So this is actually. Pretty good. I'm watching videos on it, it's really good because it does have the 18 by 9 aspect ratio display. The speakers on the bottom, which is what I prefer, not prefer, but I prefer it on the bottom as opposed to it being on the back. But I absolutely love the speaker being on the top here. I will, for, I will prefer it to be on top in the front of the phone here, but if it's on the bottom, I'm not gonna complain. When it comes to, um, you know, features and everything that's on the phone, as far as like gestures and whatnot, it doesn't really have too many of that on this device here. I mean, you got the double tap to uh, lock the screen, I believe, but, uh, I'm currently not using the <laughs> double tap there. And it does have facial recognition, so it can unlock the device with that as well. And as you can see, I'm very excited and I'm happy I got this phone here. And so with the 72 hour uh, impressions here, what I can say about it is that I love it. So subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already, like the video. And uh, also, if you do decide to subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so that anytime a video is posted in the future, you'll be notified of it immediately. But until then, my name is Max Rock. Thank you guys for watching this video and you. Have a good day. Deuces.